Hi! In this video, we'll take a look at the different types of operating systems and their features. We'll mainly focus on the top three operating systems, which are Microsoft Windows, Apple Macintosh, and Linux. Microsoft Windows is arguably the most popular operating system. Because of this, it comes with large industry support. There are tons of applications and programs that are designed to work very well on Windows computers. A possible downside to being so popular is that these operating systems can be a target for security exploitation. Attackers know that there are many, many people using Windows and therefore are tempted to try to find a way in, in order to affect as many users as possible. Many operating systems now use a graphical user interface, or GUI, sometimes pronounced GUI. This provides a simpler way to use the system. Each graphic is a window of sorts where the user can view the contents of the computer instead of having to type in commands to open and run programs. The look or the interface of Windows has changed dramatically over the years, starting with Windows 1.0, which was released back in 1985. Apple Macintosh computers, or Macs, are also extremely popular. Their versions were first named after big cats, such as Panther and Mountain Lion, and more recently after California landmarks. Macs are easy to use and have really good security features. They are typically a lot more expensive than Windows systems. Linux, as you'll find out in this lesson, kinda just does its own thing. It's hard to compare Linux to Windows or Macs because it's very different, but still very popular. Linux is free and is an open source operating system. What that means is that anyone can view and change the source code to distribute their own individualized version. This is why there are so many different versions of Linux operating systems. Because of the multitude of different versions, Linux has limited support and limited compatibility, but it does have a huge user community who love to help each other out. All operating systems have and use different types of file systems. A file system is the method in which your files are stored. Organizing files is important so that they can easily be retrieved when you need them. Each operating system has its own preferred file system. These are the top four file systems used today. We'll go into each one separately. FAT32, or File Allocation Table, is unique because it's compatible with all three major operating systems. It's commonly used for USB drives and memory cards and has a limit on its memory at 16 terabytes, which is still a lot of memory. It may help to know what you can actually store with just one terabyte. One terabyte would be equal to about 1300 physical filing cabinets of paper. You could also store 250,000 photos, 250 movies, or 6.5 million document pages. So with a storage capacity of 16 terabytes, an FAT32 system can store a ton of data, like 4 million photos or 4,000 movies. Each major operating system also has its own file system that can be used. NTFS is a Windows system that comes with additional features and more memory than FAT32. There really isn't an actual memory limitation as this system holds up to one exabyte of memory. This is equal to one million terabytes, which is a lot more than the 16 terabytes of FAT32. EXT4 is used on Linux systems and also has a memory capacity of one exabyte. HFS is a Mac file system that has the most memory available capped at eight exabytes which is 8 million terabytes. Some things to consider are the features of each file system. A few things that file systems can do are compress and encrypt files, set user permissions, and keep track of changes. Compression is important to be able to save and use less memory. Encryption and permissions are important for security. And journaling is important in case you ever need to back up your system or revert to an earlier setup. All right, now it's your turn to dive deeper and explore more about these concepts.